Okay, welcome back to the Dublin Academy, Maths Online. Now, this is Leaving Cert Ordinary Maths Series 2, and we're on episode 10, and it's functions, and we're doing paper 1. Okay, and I'm, I'm, my name is Michael. Now, um, questions. Okay, now just take a, f a copy of this, and I'm going to get back to it. You will, I won't confuse you by doing any more questions on that part for the moment. And this part. Now, this is another question. 44 up to f of x is equal to this. Okay. Now verify that f of minus 2 is equal to 0. Well, you know that that's the solution. Okay. That is the solution because it is y is equal to 0. So it crosses the x-axis. Do you follow? Right. Now find the real roots. In other words, find the rest of the... The rest of the roots make, uh, you know that f of minus 2 is a root, x plus 2 is a factor, divide x plus 2 into that. We're going over the last two questions we did before, just to keep you going. Right, so you can find the other, divide it in and find the other roots. Find the real roots, so they're the real roots. So. Now draw the graph in the domain, um, minus x lies between minus 2 and 2. Okay, so, um, well you just draw the graph. Right, now, I'm going to rub this out and I'm going to go through a few things with you. So that's question 44 out of the way. I do that. So functions, um, as you know, crosses over into calculus. I can't, uh, the line, that's geometry of the line and the circle. Functions, they're all related, okay? Um, and there's so many questions. There's three questions and parts of. Okay, so sometimes you get a whole question. Well, you will get three questions on. Now, before we did composite functions, composite functions was when we had, for example, you remember these f of x uh, is equal to g of x. That's when one function is equal to the other, bring it across and make it equal to zero, and you will find the points will be, uh, and you have this equal to zero and you can f find the solutions we've done these before okay the solutions of the line with the graph okay and uh, but I will get back to this because we have we can now solve the between a line and a graph line and a curve we could solve we could solve for the, the, the point of intersection between the line and the curve for example like this and then um, We'll, uh, uh, so you can find the where it cuts the x-axis and where it cuts the y-axis. Okay, making it equal to zero for the y, for the x-axis and x is equal to zero for the y-axis. Okay, so when it cuts the x, when it cuts the x-axis, y is equal to zero. So you make the function equal to zero. We did this before, and when it cuts the y-axis. We make the function of x equal to zero, and then we solve our function. We have our function like we had before, the x cubed, whatever, blah, blah, you know, moving along. But anyway, so we put in zero and we can find out what the corresponding y value is. So we put in zero for x, I mean, we have a, a value out here for, for two or something like that, and you, we, we know that y is equal to two, right? So, you know, you, you should now at this stage have a good understanding of, all, of, all, of the mixture of all these functions. And we also had where f of x is less than or equal to 1, okay? Where is the graph less than or equal to 1? You know, you use the graph to solve your sister, solve the, solve the problem. And we have this composite function here, put f of x into g. We had this before and we had f g of x. Put the g in for f and solve the situation. Okay, so there's all these kinds of... Uh, and when 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 we can when um when it's um when we're given values x is equal to one we can solve a lot of them you know and uh, but anyway so that's most of it that's all we've done on that part so that's functions in uh, in a nutshell what we've done now if you don't understand you have to go back over using graphs anyway and plotting the x and y so so when we 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 we, we get these we can plot lines okay and we can plot the graph where it cuts the where f of x is equal to zero okay 
So in other words, where y is equal to zero, there's the solutions. Okay, and this line two x plus two, we can now solve that as well. Okay, making 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 the equation. Say this is g of x, making the equation equal to g of x, and then subtracting. You know, treating it like a normal equation because it's minus equal to zero. Okay, you follow what I did here. That's the same as saying um, x is equal to one x plus 1 is equal to z x minus, pardon, minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay? So you can solve the solution. So you can find solutions for this. Find solutions where they cross each other. And you can do that also with, 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 with um, other curves. Okay? So if we have a curve and you have this, for example, and you have another curve, say it's, um, oh, anything. It could be anything. Uh, say it's something like this. You know, you can find these points of intersection, right? And, and I'm going to show you how to do that next, right? So two curves, points of intersection. Now, I can use, I can use, or we can use curves or cubic equations. We can use cubic equations to solve other curves by points of intersection. Where are they do they intersect? And once we get that, you start putting the pieces of puzzle together. Okay? So for example, f of x, which is the same as y, goes to x cubed plus 2x squared plus 6x minus 4. Now, it says uh, find the solutions of g of x, find the solutions of g of x, find solutions of g of x. And g of x is, they give you the, 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 the curve, it's actually another quadratic, plus 4x minus 2 equal to 0. Now, okay, so I have to... The way it is, I have to do something to f of x. In other words, I have to, in another way, move it along and so that it into or it connects with g of x. So in other words, I have to do, I have to make them similar. I have to make them that there's something that can reflect it. Okay, now you you might get what I'm getting at here, but so what what do I need to do to f of x? Plus 6x minus 4 is equal to. Now, what do I need to do to f of x? Okay, so you see f of x here. Now, I know it's going to be a little bit confusing, but this is f of x. To reflect or mirror g of x. So in other words, look at the 4 of x. There's the, the, they are the same, they are the same. There's no problems there. Look at the 4x and the 6x. So, um, what do I need to do to 6x to make it 4x? I need to bring it across 2x, because if I bring it across it becomes minus 2x. Do you follow? And I'll show you then. What do I need to do to 4? What do I need to, to do to the 2 to, to reflect the 4? I need to add another 2. Okay? So, uh, we'll, we'll just check that. So, that's, uh, we've got, um, g of, sorry, g of x is minus 2. So what do I need to do to 4 to bring it down? Oh, it's minus 2. Do you see what I made there? Okay, so if I bring the minus 2 across, it becomes, so if I bring those 2 across, I can see that it becomes minus 2x plus 2. And if I add them, that becomes 4x minus 2. Which is the same as, this becomes minus, uh, yeah, which is just the same as g of x. Okay, so I'm looking to reflect, what do I need to do to f of x? to mirror g of x, okay? And these points will find me the intersection, so I make it equal to this. That's my solution, okay? So I'm looking at f of x. What do I need to do to f of x to make it look like 4x minus 2? Well, I need to bring, I need to take away 2x and I need to take away 2, so I need to add 2. You follow? I get 4x minus 2, which is what I'm looking for here. Right? So, 2x minus 2, so the solution is 2x minus 2. Right? So you're getting closer to what you're, you're, you're at, okay? So now you can say that, 
y is equal to 2x minus 2 because fx is that. Okay? And then you plot it. Alright, so that's like so. So we find the so this is the line that this is the point of intersection. So it's a point of intersection between two curves, right? Whatever way they're going, and they're issued as a line. Okay? They're, they're, they see the point there, and well, let's say it's it's there, yes, yeah, there. So the two points are now going to be called the line. This is the line of intersection. This is the relativeness. Okay? So the curve has changed from two points of intersection. It's 2x. And how do I plot this line here? Well, at some point in this line, it's going to cross the x-axis. And when the x-axis is equal to 0, so you put in f of 0. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus 2. So actually, it's going the other way. Okay, so it's minus 2 here. So that's the point minus 2, 0. Okay, so that's one point. I need another set of points. And when it cuts the y-axis, what's equal to 0? Um, uh, sorry, hold on a second. Y is equal to minus 2. Got it totally wrong again. Jeepers. Okay. Now, Y is equal to minus 2. So that's minus 2 there. Right, because when X is equal to 0 across the X axis. Now, I'm not gonna, I don't know which way the line is going to go, so I'm not going to put it in. I'm going to find out where the, where, the X is, where the X value is equal to. So when X is equal to, X is equal to 0 on the X axis, so I'm going to put in, so 2x minus 2 is equal to 0, 2x is equal to 2x is equal to 1. Okay, so that's 1 there. So that's going to be the 1, 0 point. So that's minus 2, 0, and 1, 0. And that's your line, okay? That is the line, and there are the solutions. So this graph goes along like that, and then the, and up around again, and then another graph comes around, and it follows... It intersects in some way. Okay, that wasn't a great example. But you get from the last one that it goes something like this. And uh, another, another, uh, another, another would come in something like that. Okay, so you're finding the points of intersection. And you're making it out to be a line. And through that line, you're calculating where your y value is. And your x where it cuts the y and x axis. Alright, now that's, that's as easy as I can explain it. So what do I need to do to f of x, the original equation, to make it or mirror or reflect the, the, the other question, g of x, which is the other curve. Okay, it can be a curve, it can be a line. Okay, you change it. So it can be a curve or a line or it can be a quadratic, you know. So usually a line or a number. It can be a number as well in the integer. Okay, and that's, that shows quite a lot of people. Now I'll do, I'll do one here with, a, with an integer. Okay, so that's good. Now, um, so k of x is equal to, k of x, these are all running out, k of x is equal to, so this is just another function, k of x is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared plus 6x minus 3 is equal to 0. Very important, all of this equals to 0. And it says um, solve for f of x f of x is equal to, I'm going to put it here, f of x is equal to, so this is your curve, you've, you've drawn this curve out, say, and you're going to use this to solve this, okay? Um, f x is x cubed plus 2x squared plus 6x minus 4 is equal to 0. Right, no, sorry, this is your curve. Originally, f of x is the curve, right? You would have been asked, now, this is your curve. Use the curve to find the solutions to that. Okay, so here we go again. So, what do I need to do to f of x to mirror k of x? Right. So, in other words, what do I need to add to this to make? So, you've got 6x minus, there's nothing here. They're all the same. They're the same, they're the same, they're the same, and that's the same. 6x, 6. So, there's only, there's only a difference here of 1. Do you follow? So what do I need to add to minus 4? I need, I know it's 1, but bringing it over becomes minus 1. So I want to bring it over and becomes plus 1. So when it adds, it will give me minus 3. Do you follow? Okay, we'll see that again. So what do I need to do to f of x, the curve, which is drawn already, to mirror k of x so I can find the solutions? Well, what do I need to add to f of x? I know there's a difference of 1 here because the 6x, the 6x is cancelled and it only changed. So this is an integer. 
Okay, so if I bring this 1 across it becomes minus 1 and it's not minus 1 and 1 because that add will give me minus 5. What I need is plus 1 because plus 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So I know that if I bring plus 1 it has to be a minus 1. I hope you're very clear on this one. Okay, and uh, so in this case f of x is equal to minus 1. Goes to minus 1. It's the solution to that one. So you just go... Where is y, so that in other words, where is y equal to minus 1? So minus 1 would be here. And because it's just a line, this would be the line, y is equal to minus 1. Okay, and where they cross is the solutions to, is, is, is the intersecting points between that curve and that curve. It just so happens that a line has been drawn to show it. Okay? Right. Okay, that's great. Now, so the, the line is y is equal to minus 1. So that's the solutions. Nothing else. Now that's it now, really, you know. And, and that's, this is the last episode on this. There will be other um, episodes maybe for um, clearing up a few things. People might be asking a few questions or whatever. But uh, this will be the last one. This has gone public, you know. And um, anyway, um, I it's very interesting doing the functions. I hope you keep and do the questions. You know, uh, we'll have a look at this question here. Maybe back again, and we'll see. Um, we'll see what's uh, what what this what this is about. Okay, so. So this question: Draw a graph of the function. So you draw that function. And it likes, uh, the fx function and you use the points from minus 3 to plus 2. Now use your graph to estimate this. And we could call this g of x. Okay? Or k of x, whatever you want to call it. Okay? And um, so you look at this and you see what's the difference? Um, well, there's no number here. Okay, so in other words, what do I need to bring over here to reflect this? I need to add. You know, this one is quite easy. This is a leaving, this was a leaving circle question. Okay, now two using the same axis and same scales, draw the function, draw the gx function. Okay, so the gx is two x. Well, draw that. Okay, in the domain. So you just this is a this is some sort of q, q, uh, quadratic. So you put g of minus two in for it, and you get two is equal to two times minus two to be squared. Minus by minus is plus eight. Okay, so you've got the first point, minus 2, 8. And then you put, put your point in, and then you start plotting the rest of the points from minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, that seems to be about everything. Best of luck. Bye.